Um, I don't know, I don't, I don't feel quite so worked up anymore now. But it's, uh, that such is the, such is your bloody map selection, or lack thereof, blue hole, or whoever you are. Asshole. You make this fucking game. Give us back the map selection. We only want one map. Yeah, we are, we are one of your largest demographics, we are. Yeah, the people who play PUBG and just, uh, no, Daisy. Yes, we are the Daisy stuff. elitists. But no, I suppose my, uh, something that's bit well, come out the other day, only, only, what is it, the 21st now? We're a couple of hours into the 21st. But it was, uh, World Men's Mental Health Day, or World Men's Day. Old Men's Day. Which is, uh, oft looked, or oft forgotten. But, uh, you know, outside of the memes and the other scoffing, it is, uh, Certainly, the my take from it is more about the fact that us blokes should be more comfortable to be able to talk about feelings and thoughts with each other. You know, we all have bants going on and where we can talk about someone we fancy and how we love the tits on this and we'd shag the ass off that, but we never really talk about the fact that, you know, we're feeling a bit sad that we don't have somebody, a significant other in our lives or. You know, we're feeling lonely because we, because of the lockdown is a big thing at the minute. This year is, you know, it, it's been a bit of an introvert's dream. The fact that all of our events and things, and certainly the 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 few dates that I've had with with ladies in this year, there's been some of them, even last year and, and years in past. I've often thought that I just woken up that morning and thought actually I don't want to I'd rather just stay at home and play some games or watch a film or something but yeah it is it is like say my dream come true like actually having you know not having to have an excuse to stay indoors and play games and I say yeah. no I am actually doing the country a favor I'm the hero here now let's go to that for the town that's at the the very top of the map where we're gonna get kicked out of the all right but yeah, it's, you know, for, for, for us in general, you know, perhaps the lockdown hasn't been too tough because the prospect of me staying at home, you know, yes, I've missed going out to the pub with, well, come and visit you for our, our year, well, was it biannual visit? Bi biannual, yeah. So that's hardly a major thing, but going to the pub with Kev, you know, this year, you know, we're looking at, well, end of, end of November now we are at this video and... I've been to, I've been out once to the pub once for my brother's birthday, and it was. I've lovely. been out to the I've been out to the pub zero times yeah. since lockdown since the first lockdown. And um, you know I, I I've kind of missed that a bit. You know I'm quite happy just going to the pub to socialise and talk about stuff once a week. That's all I generally need. Once a week. Yeah. One event a week. I, I'm like a cat. I just want quite happy on my own, and when I want some attention or company I'll come to you yeah but, um, yes it's uh, only two things I miss that's me uh me Monday nights down down the pub uh watch um quiz and Thai food quiz quiz and Thai food and yeah. uh, see, seeing my niece those are the only two things that have uh that have ruined you know well, they have ruined this year for me yeah and Apart I, from that, it's exactly the same. And I'm very grateful that I was able to move home um, yeah. in the middle of the year. Because if I was still down in Kent, I would be in a pretty bad place mentally. I was completely You're, on my you, own. You were, you were. I, well, I was in a bad place, but I was, I've been in a much worse place with all the lockdowns uh, I mean, that uh, we've had. So I think I actually said this to you like uh, earlier in the year. Like... Um, and I think it was the first time round you had a chance to, or think about moving back home. And I said that would do wonders for your mental health. Yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. And I think it's, you know, as we just said, I'm quite happy having social, you know, good quality social contact once a week. But 
I was in a position there where I was looking at good quality social contact with Richard, my mate down there, once, maybe twice a month. Mm. And, you know, with the lockdown now, you know, he, he's just as cautious as I am and things. It was, you know, we defied lockdown um, at least twice. Oh my God, is that the police knocking on my door? It I is. just admitted that now. But, um, yeah, you know, overall, you, you know, with World Mental Health Day, Men's Day, it's not about... Oh, you know, old late women have got a day. Why, why don't men? That's the classic. That's the classic meme. M men have had uh, a world day for many years now, and it's not about being a smart ass or something and 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 saying those things. It, it's just about raising awareness of the fact that men have got to get over the well. Toxic masculinity is what the 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 key word is these days. It's it's about losing that attitude if you got a man up oh you feeling sad mate yeah fucking man up will ya you know, I think that's just down to the people you hang around with really. exactly you know I know that you know amongst our crowd yeah we might be a bit uncomfortable talking about those things just through general we're, we're blokes we don't generally talk about that but I'm quite happy to talk to you I could talk about Kev even to my brother about feeling. You could so, talk about Kev. I could talk about uh, Kev, yeah. <laughs> Kev, if you're listening, you know we love you, little Kev. Yeah. Um, but no, that's not the point. You know, the I could ha I I could be comfortable talking as I am now, though the alcohol helps. About thoughts and feelings, but the point of this ramble is, men need to be getting their heads around the fact that it's okay to talk about a time that you're not feeling okay. You don't have to be strong all the time. You can be sad. You can be upset about something. It's all right. Just I uh, rarely do talk about things like that myself. And, and Mainly because I don't think I really need to. And I mean, a lot, of, a lot of people do, but I don't think I need to. And also... Uh, I'm of the mind of, you know, I don't really want to burden people with my problems either. That, a lot of people that's, do. That's part of, I won't say, to toxic masculinity, but that's the classic masculine thing to do, though. We've got to shoulder the responsibility. We've got to have that stiff upper lip. And we've got to get a little bit further south, because that's where the fucking shield is now. Yes, they said that on uh, Men's Health Day. Yeah, we've got to get we to must, that we, shield. We must get to the shield. Just get to the mental health shield. I'm That's a let, nice I'm car. Let you drive because you're sober you're, and, I'm not. and you're yes, you're pissed out out your fucking mind. The fucking cracker has got me. Where um where are we anyway? Oh shit! Just south. Just go south. Right. <coughs> uh, there's a big old yeah it road that way. And there's a big Turn old rock there too. Ah, uh, it's these American fucking cars, you know. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Piece of shit. But for our couple of listeners, and the one or two that I corral into watching these videos once they're sat in my house. In and to all, all, our, all our female it's, listeners. We're being shot at. Yeah, it's alright. I put the after, afterburners on, and the supercharger, and Mental the, health. Uh, I think I'm on chat now. Mental health. It's okay, boys. Talk about your feelings. Don't shoot at people. Mental <laughs> health. Talk about it. Where is the road? It's right there. It's on the map, it's here. The fuck? There it is. Yeah, but, um, I don't I mean, I, I really talk about things like because I don't know, just nothing really affects me that much. So it must be just stoic by nature, I suppose. What is that? struck me as a kind of, I won't say happy-go-lucky, but a generally pleased with his lot to come in person. <laughs> smug asshole. A smug asshole. Yeah, let's put it that way. You're always a smug asshole. <laughs> smug, self-satisfied asshole. Well, I'm just, um, there's these, you know, there's, 
the people that I can't get on with is like the people that always have to constantly have someone with them. They always have to have someone there, you know, because for whatever reason, self-loathing, just whatever, they, they can't be left alone with themselves. And I just, I could never understand that. I love being by myself. I think I, I crap myself up and I miss trees with fucking skill. Well, that's because we are introverted characters, though. You know, we are, you know, an introvert is somebody... It's very much a sliding scale, and from what... From, the, from what I've seen in the past with myself, I had never heard of the, the concept of an ambivert. And it was only through... You know, I met somebody on a, a dating website who then invited me through to her almost support group, I suppose, but... I only like to spend time with people that are of ambient temperature. <laughs> Possibly. Well, no, this was... Well, no, you probably remember. Um, a year or two ago, I was talking about that girl that I met with and we went to the, the, the gaming shop. We played board games and things with that. Uh, oh, well, you were, or I was. No, I was. I was going to say, I don't remember this. Yeah, no, I definitely spoke to you about it because that was kind of a, a cool point with us. I went on a date with somebody to a game... board game club that was the first date where she also made it quite clear that she wasn't that ah, interested in me. I, I love just, this town. But just getting me involved in uh, in her ambivert group. And that's where I became aware of the concept of an ambivert who I can wholly get behind as somebody who Explain an ambivert to me then. Well an ambivert is somebody who is perfectly happy in their own company but also would you know need some social company every now and then. Which, certainly for me, the once a week down the pub, speaking with somebody, whilst it's you know the rest of the week on his own playing games or a bit online stuff, that's that's me. Yeah, I suppose it's probably me as well because I, I've no way of actually engaging it because I've never actually you know been a her hermit who has had <clears throat> like no uh, you know been as point of his life where I've had zero contact with anyone for a prolonged period. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I've... You know, down in Kent, had good old Richard there, but we generally only saw each other once once a month. The rest of the time I'd be on my chat challenge. I'd see my students, of course, but that's only... You know, we'd sit and chat about computer games and things, but... Yeah. <coughs> that's... Uh, it's not quite the same. It's very much a professional... Professional that outlook there, and I mean, the yeah. Of the time I could so I've, be I've got me, uh, church. I've got me work, I've got me workmates, yep. and uh, uh and also, contact. yeah. And that's another was... big thing that's happening to a lot of people at the minute with the lockdowns. We're all working from home, you know. For, uh, as we've joked about in the past, the lockdown doesn't really affect us very much. Doesn't affect my job, you know. My job had turned work f entirely from home just before the lockdown began at the beginning of 2020, just to date this all. Yeah, and but, my um, job became all the more necessary. Yeah, exactly. And, um, you know, I can certainly say that uh, I don't I don't like working from home. It's it's nice, to, you know, in the old days of my old job, well, the, old, the old way it worked, having one day a week working from home was good because I could be super focused because I'd enjoy that lie-in where I wasn't... Traveling and commuting in somewhere, but uh, yeah, with it so now, I struggle for. <coughs> oh dear, I, struggle, I wouldn't be able to. I would breath. not be able to do it. Yeah, I would not be able to do it because I don't have enough. Um, I, I, I procrastinate uh, di too much. Uh, don't have enough discipline, I suppose. Yeah. Self-discipline. Yeah, I would exactly not be able to do I the job. I don't have the discipline. I have to force myself. And do you know the best way? Potentially, this is a good thing for a couple of listeners. But the best way I find to focus is, well, white noise. And I will, if, I, if I'm in, holy shit, I've got to get some work done mode, I will um, put on the sound on YouTube of, like, uh, there's a particular video I like, which is two hours of a bath running with the microphone six inches from the, from the water source. You know, the one I like, the one I uh, the ambient one is uh, is the uh, sound of uh, main engineering from TNG. I've got that one too. 
I yeah. I've got a couple of the Star Trek you know, kind of yeah noises. Yeah, that's good actually. When I when I want to sleep, that's a good one. But the best ones to focus me on work. I mean, I think the absolute best one for focusing on work is a shower noise because it's quite a high pitched noise, and it's almost like those water running noises just completely freeze my brain from anything other than what I'm focusing my eyes on. So if I'm doing my spreadsheets or I'm doing my action plans or apprentice you better fucking do your job stuff. It's it just locates my brain on it like a heat seeking missile. It'd probably give me headaches. <laughs> but well pretend everybody's different and that's the whole point, you know, that again comes right back to our whole mental health, speaking out about stuff, learning styles as well. We've all got our own... Was that you? Jump through yeah. the window? Okay. We've all got our own ways of working, our own ways of thinking. I love lists. I love practical things. I love things spelled out in bullet points. Other people just want a... Here's six weeks to do this shit. There's a list yeah, of shit that's... you need doing. You've got six weeks to do it. Make sure it's all done by six weeks. Which is more my game style because I'm very disorganised. Yeah, but it, it but it's learning styles. I'm off the path. You know that crazy right on us. That. Which probably means also plenty of other people, but yeah, it's whole ass. It's whole ass. But yeah, I, I I you know I'm the kind of person who wants strict deadlines. I want this done by this date, this done by that date, that done by the other date. Whereas other people they want just give me six weeks, I'll get that shit done at some point, I'll manage my own shit. Give me six weeks to break him, chief. <laughs> this is what can I land right on us. Yeah. Give me crates. <coughs> oh, <All right>. awesome. <coughs> well, you're not dead yet. <coughs> yes. Yeah, I see it. North. I'll dra see, I'm trying to draw them away while you get the shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's nothing too exciting. I'm going to spend most of my time here trying to fix myself. Alright, let's just get over the hill that's behind us. Oh dear, yeah. like I say, they... Yeah, there was a stair roll eight times. I, I got the I got the um, uh, level three helmet, so I'm happy with that. I can't even put the eight times scope on the stair. Have you got a rifle of some kind? No, no. Okay. I've got I've got an eight times scope as well, with nothing to use it with. <laughs> People didn't have any like a C4 or anything, it just like booby trapped the fucking thing. Yeah, there's no smoke coming from it now though. Oh, isn't there smoke if there's something still in it? Or is it just smoke after a certain time? Well, I thought you 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 said this the other time when you sounded dead certain about it as well, that it just disappears after a while. Well I'm pretty sure it disappears after a time, but the smoke's there as soon as it lands. Well, I think maybe it's just when it gets interacted with, perhaps. Oh, great. I think I'd have... I've got nothing that this 8x scope interacts with. No, so whoever was coming after us. There's an AK down here, but again, that's that will take it eight, eight times. Oh, I suppose that's uh, that uh, lamenting over then. Yeah, well, the stream of thought has been uh, has been broken now. Yeah, interrupted. Coitus interruptus. It's not quite as bad as that, although I've never actually experienced that. So. Some guy tickling your balls from behind. I well, know, just somebody walking in on you. And I've done it in Go a corridor before, but nobody's ever walked out on us. Was that back at, back at the uh, back on base? Was back, it? 
when you're living next in to Claire. In those days, but no. Oh, that would have been nice, but no. Um, it, I suppose it was military accommodation, but it wasn't the barracks. It was a naffy accommodation. Oh, when uh, is that Nikki. when with Nikki? Like, and uh, you were living next to Sam Clee as well. Yeah, gingerhead girl, gingerhead girl with like real, real, like um, like dark brown eyes, almost like black eyes. I don't recall that, but it was yes with Nikki, and yes in the days of the, of the Naffy. But I don't remember a Cleve being there. Yeah, because you were moaning about a. Uh, to oh. me, once I. About about uh, Tampax. <laughs> there was a dark head girl. Well, one. Oh. Maybe we're getting a bit too deep for the for the YouTube conversationals here, but there was a dark head girl who was there who swung both ways. Um, maybe, but I don't think so. I don't recall it being a Klee though. It she, I should say. I don't it recall she. her being a Klee. No. If you're referring to the Klee of the school, of the town... No, no, because no. she was she was an RAF uh, girl as well, and he... She uh, worked at court for a bit. I got on with her quite well. No, there was no and, Klee's uh, of and, she, and, and she, uh, she ended up back at my house one time because she mistakenly thought I was taking her home. <laughs> <laughs> Fool her! But then I, I did actually take her home because I thought that's because I thought she was, wanted to come back to my house because she was taking you know she was like you know because she lived kind of my way but she just you know went down the wrong road which was the road that led to my house and I thought oh she's leading me home nice wrong world yeah well we're on the me being a gentleman I actually said yeah okay then I'll take you home then instead of no bitch staying here for the night in bondage. Black tape or red tape, as they used to call it. Well, I suppose we could just hang around here and see who comes past. Let's just sit here for a while, see what happens. There's my reference to a great film. I don't get that one just yet. Elaborate. Play oh, two players north going. Oh. Yeah, oh. going west to east. I've got no scope. Oh, I see them though. <laughs> Shoot, because why not? Indeed. Yeah, I've got an eight times scope. It doesn't fit on anything I've got, so it's pointless. Well, the film I was thinking. Oh, well, referencing. It was the very last line of the film. It's a John Carpenter film. The Thing? Yes. Ah. Oh. Repeat the line to me. Let's just wait here a while. See what happens. I can't picture the scene, but yes, I know the film very well. It's Kurt Russell and Keith David after everything's blown up to shit and everything's on fire. And uh, they know they're fucked. But, um, yeah, they just stoically just sit there with a bottle of Jim Beam. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you remember, I remember watching that film when I must have been primary school age. I think it was awesome. It is. And well, it is an awesome film, but... See two more players. Oh. Ten... Uh, oh. About 300 degrees at the house. I thought we were about to get chunked there, but... I don't we're think just the force fields moved no. quite so far. We're gonna get chunked shortly, but not just Yeah. Yet. But yeah, these there's two of us there already in a firefight at uh ten. Just before the house. There's a oh, there's a Jeep turning up now, he's gonna even be even more shooty shooty bang bang there now. Yeah, I've seen the vehicle go in there. Well, I say we make slowly make our way down there. Yes, let's uh, 
leave our trenches and walk very slowly towards the enemy. <laughs> Can't really be anybody behind us. Definitely can't be people to the right of us, though. With us, but not, not next to behind us. I'm gonna take some painkillers and drink then. Get pre chunked. Oh, we're inside there. Yeah, I know, but we might get chunked any second, so. And also. We're nearing battle, so it's a good tactic anyway. Much many battles. That's definitely must be in the chunking area, that is. Seems like some up there, yeah. Eleven seconds. Oh, we're just inside the thing anyway. Yeah. That's what I mean, but it's 11 seconds means they'll, they'll be, surely they'll be got, got to be coming to us. I think I just, yeah, I just saw a player 95. It's about 200 metres away. It's like a rock formation out the, coming out the ground, like a dark okay. brown one. I'm just keeping an eye for those coming over the hill behind us. There's bound to be some. Bitch, he's bound, bound to be down the ridge. I can't see him. Annoying! Annoy! <coughs> We are not amused. Tis a silly place. Oh, oh there's there's one. Yeah, he just got he just got shot immediately straight away. So yeah, I think there's people down the ridge at uh, northeast. Yeah. I've just, see, just seen I've just seen two people northeast. Uh, there's like a white building with a brown brown uh, roof. He's about 500 meters away. Not going to get him with a scar. Well, Can't I... I think we're pretty clear behind us. Yeah. We should start creeping our way forward. Fortunately for all of those who are ahead of us, um just saw a player, where was that? Oh there. Uh three two five. Going into the middle bit. There's only eight others left. Yeah, I've spotted one of them. He's uh, 335 by some hay bales. He's moving. Wow. Oh no, he's just got shot. <laughs> Headshotted. Perhaps there's some people in the building, in the white building ahead of us. Oh. There is. Yeah, there's two of them in there. Yeah, there's uh, the two. There's the two dudes I spotted earlier. They're still in that building because I think they they wiped out everyone that came near them. Well, I'm just crawling towards some strategic hay bales and tractors. Right, we've got to move. I'm just still. Beasties. Oh, there you are. There's one at 70. He's outside the, outside the blue. Oh, 
out. There he is. 80. He's coming behind us. He's up on the hill behind us at 85. That's me. Shouldn't, shouldn't have given my uh, my position away. I can't see him yet. See the big Vamos sign. It wasn't him that was shooting at me. It was behind me. Vamos. Vamos yeah, he, indeed. It's like some kind of like brown corrugated ramp. He's by that. He's outside the zone, surely. Maybe he's just dipping in and out. Oh, that is right by that Vamos sign. Yeah, that's where he is. Can't actually see him. He's like down in the dip. Yeah, I can't see him yet. In again. Okay, force fields coming in. We need to move. <coughs> Crawling like a worm. I think we're in. No, we're not. For fuck's sake. <laughs> A win for the squatters. Just crawl around. Oh, grenade. Oh, grenade. Oh, oh he, he got me. Don't know if that. I don't think it does, does it? It doesn't actually let you know you actually hit any, anything anymore, which is nice. Whereas they know they would have known they hit us. So we're moving. We're moving away from the. We want to stay around here, right up against it, really. Yeah. There's only three people left by the looks of things. If the five includes us two. I see them. Ten. Two of them. Oh, what the fuck? Immediately, immediately locked on to me. Yeah. The second I fired, they're on me. Oh, you little bastard.